I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And the first thing I have to do, must do, is say Happy New Year, and God bless you. Doesn't seem possible if the year's all gone by and starting a new year with Jesus. But that's the facts. That's where we're at. First day of the first new year. And before I forget it, <clears throat> I want to thank all of you for the cards and <clears throat> letters and gifts that you sent <clears throat> uh, for Christmas. I really appreciate it and, uh, and just thank every one of you for thinking about us. Well, we're reading from Philippians chapter 3, beginning with the 10th verse. And uh, Paul is writing here and he's talking about his life and how that he's uh, serving the Lord and he's coming toward the end of life now. And it's a beautiful passage, and it's a challenging one for us as we start a new year because we're going to look at some uh, Christian people, great leaders in the, uh, in the Bible, and uh, pattern our life after them, take some uh, cues from them, and follow the Lord. And uh, then in our prayer, we're going to pray. We always, every week, we pray for the persecuted church, and we're going to pray today for the persecuted church in Syria. But first, our scripture, Philippians 3, verse 10. Paul says that I may know him, Jesus, and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attained, either already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things that are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, that's my prayer, and I know that's the prayer of all of our listeners, all who are with us today. I know they're praying for the very same thing, that we may forget those things that are behind and press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. What a wonderful calling, and oh my God, I think so many times that you'd, have the, you'd even call on me to do anything, and I am so honored and yet you call all of your people. It doesn't matter what their walk in life is. It doesn't matter who they are or where they live. If they are born again, if they've accepted you as their Savior, every last one of them has a plan. And it is your plan for them. And may we do, we can do the same thing. Lord, we can't always be successful in this world, but we can be faithful. The least of us, the least of us can be faithful. And that's what our prayer today. Now, Lord, we're praying for our brothers and sisters in Syria. And we're praying, oh God, that you'll just help and strengthen them and help them to know that their lives are a great challenge to us. And it's helping us to be a better Christian and more dedicated. But Lord, we want to pray especially for the little children in Syria. Oh God. Maybe they've seen their mother and their dad killed before their eyes. They're in a strange land. They're among strange people. They're cold. They're scared. Mom and dad is gone. Oh, God, how those little children. It must make your heart ache and break. And I know you could come at any minute, but, Lord, you're waiting just to let somebody else come. Maybe there'll, <clears throat> maybe there'll be one <clears throat> more sinner that'll open their heart to you and come to you and find everlasting life. And so those little children, Lord, I know you'll take care of them and we'll see them in heaven because all the little children belong to you. You told us in the, in the gospels, three of the four gospels, you told how you took them in your arms and you blessed them and you said and forbid them not for of such is the kingdom of God. They're all part of your kingdom. But Lord, when we come to the age of accountability, then we have to make that decision and we choose heaven or hell. We choose Jesus or Satan. No middle ground, one or the other. Oh, we pray that everybody listening and worshiping with us today will make the decision, I want Jesus. That's our prayer in Jesus' name, amen.